Hi everyone, it's Beverly from the Piece by Piece and I wanted to share with you guys this mini album I created using uh, a few of uh, Prima Marketing's um, paper lines and embellishments. Um, the paper that I used for this, which was a Finnebear paper line, and I forgot what it's called, but it basically looks like these right here. And it is now a discontinued paper line, but um, it also coordinated well with our script pad that I used from them, and I absolutely love the script pad. I've been using this paper to take photos of um, items that I sell on my Etsy shop, and I just absolutely love this paper line. I hope they don't stop making this. And um, so it's this one right here. We also sell this actual paper pad on our Etsy shop. Um, another thing that I did use was the um, May, oh, I'm sorry, Maya Road um, 8x8 shipboard book. So I did use this with, um, from Maya Road for the album. And then I also use Puma Marketing flowers like this, but um, if you can't find these anymore, you can definitely use natural or khaki uh, tones um, for flowers. And we had a lady that when I taught the class, she actually used just white flowers because she wanted to make the album for a wedding. And then I had a lot of customers making these for weddings and also like sisters and or mother-daughter for Mother's Day. Um, that had just passed and then these are also um, these buttons that I use the flare buttons everyday vintage line um, this also is the paper line that I used in the book and um, I did use some trims and I did color some of the trims so um, this is one of the trims that we used and then I colored it in the craft color from Tattered Angels and then these leaves is a trim as well here that I sell online and they were originally white and I colored it with some green spray um, by um, I think Sukuniko alright and then here is that black trim that we bordered around and that one we do sell as well and it's this trim right here so I cut them into pieces and made a border around the hour story so um, on the inside on this pocket right here on this back front cover I use this trim right here which we are sold out on and then we've got a um, little library card pocket and then we made a little book within the book really cute and simple and then we just um, combined you know did the binding um, with the, the twine and then on this page right here we have a the everyday vintage uh, insert right here that I just kind of like th uh, tucked inside this photo mat right here and then we've got trim and then in this trim I only glued it on the side so that way you can slip in a photo underneath the tags too um, pennant flags or whatever you want to call that and then here's the other side of this and this is using the script paper pad. I cut these pieces in um, a die cut. So now they're little pockets, envelopes, and then we've got little journaling cards that kind of just slide through in there. And then here's kind of like a page on its own. I thought she was so cute and beautiful, and I just made her a page. And then also this trim, if you're interested, we do sell on our website, on our Etsy store. And then here's one of those, um, one of my favorite papers, and this one is from the Lyric Collection. And we used it to, as a frame, and this die right here is from Sizzix. And then we framed the dragonfly on there, trim right there, and then another journaling card right behind there. And then this page right here, we just did a flip, flip up. And um, and this one is a little raised, so it's got like the pop dots behind that. And then here is this page right here. We've got a little sticker tab. Opens up that way if you wanted to add some sentiments there or whatnot. Some of our trim, and then I use the Tim Holtz border die, and then um, punched out this little border right there. 
So this one's another photo mat. Here's that trim I was telling you about that was white and we colored it in the khaki tattered angels. And then here's that little frame die cut that I used from Tim Holtz. On this page, we use that trim right there to put on the top. It's a scallop trim that is also available on our, our Etsy shop. And so is this trim right here. And then we fussy cutted this girl, used some pop dots to raise her so you can kind of tuck in a photo on top as well. Um, and then in this one right here, it's also that script pad paper line. And then we use the little flare button right there so so that we can just close it it serves as the closure for this envelope and then you can put stuff in there and then we also have made this into a little pocket right there and then on this page we went ahead and used um we did the cascading or um what do you call it? waterfall pages um right here and the, all of the pages that you see here are from the vintage everyday, everyday vintage paper line, which is probably sold out by now. I taught this class last year, uh, 2013, in the winter, and it was, and I thought that um, they would be making them because uh, continue to make this paper line, but unfortunately, um, they have stopped producing them. But I just wanted to share with you guys a project that I made. And I have one more kit available for this. Um, if you are interested in this kit, um, can you please message me and let me know? We only have one available um, left. Um, so you don't have to take the class. If you think you feel confident enough to just have the pages for you and then you feel confident enough to put one together, we can definitely send out the kit. Um, all right. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Goodbye.